Hello friends and welcome back to another studio vlog. Uh, my eyes <laughs> look wild today. So I don't know if you can tell, but okay. Let me know if you are also uh, Asian and you have double eyelids. <laughs> Do you have this problem where like one eyelid, do you see this? One eyelid is like a lot higher than the other lid right now. It's because my eyes are really swollen because uh, I cried last night. <laughs> That's really sad. Uh, yeah, so my eyes are really swollen. So this eyelid, do you see it? The line is like up there above my eyeliner. And then this one like kind of covers my eyeliner. I don't want to tell you how difficult it is to do your eyeliner when your eyes are uneven and also swollen. It's so hard. Um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> little mini you know rant over also i don't know how to do my makeup when my eyes are like this anyway um hello welcome back to another studio vlog this studio vlog is gonna be all about what is that sound oh it rained last night okay well if you hear dripping it's because there is currently a single drop of rain that is dripping onto the ac in the window but anyway this studio vlog is going to be all about working towards the pop-up market that I'm doing at the end of this month. It's going to be on the 26th. This video will be out after the, the pop-up, uh, but I'm, I'm working towards the pop-up. I'm also working towards finishing um, the next goodie bag. It is currently the 17th. Today is the 17th. It's Friday. It's before stream. There's another stream. Uh, today is the 17th, uh, the pop-up is the 26th, so it's next week. I don't have a lot done, <laughs> but I've been working on getting the July goodie bag done because I would like to get that finished this week so that next week I can dedicate towards working on the pop-up and also finishing some, well not finishing, starting some mini commissions that uh, I need to do for um, my stream subathon rewards and also an actual commission that somebody paid me for um, that happened too. So, oh, by the way, my commissions are open in case, I don't know, you want custom art? I make custom art. I make like cute stuff. I make pet portraits. Anyway, yeah, my commissions are open. Um, but yeah, so we're working really hard. I had a little bit of a meltdown yesterday. I guess we can talk about it. Um, why my eyes are, you know, uneven. <laughs> they're not usually very even, but, but like, they're usually less bad. Um, the rainwater is so distracting. Uh, yesterday, I finished this piece. Uh, I'll, I'll here. Let's move here so you can see. Yesterday, I finished this painting. Um, 
I will put the time lapse here while I talk. What, how's that? Um, and it's this really complicated library painting that I wanted to do because one, I just really love libraries. I used to work in a library in high school and in college. I think libraries are are just the best, the bees knees. Um, they're one of the few places you can go in America now where you're not required to spend money. You're actually not, where you're like not encouraged to spend money. I think that's really great. Um, and it's about like building community and also about like, like furthering knowledge. <laughs> I love libraries. Anyway, so I did this library piece, right? And you can kind of see it's like pretty complicated. It took me almost 20 hours to do, which is half a work week. You know, if you work like normal work hours, I guess. Um, and I was, I'm really, really proud of it. I think, I think the composition's really interesting. It's uh, based off of a bunch of different photographs that I found of real life libraries and also just libraries in my head. The entire time I was painting it, I just kept thinking about that one scene in The Mummy where Evie's like, I am a librarian. I friggin' love it. <laughs> That's my, one of my favorite. Okay, The Mummy's a terrible movie, but it's also really great. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Anyway, um, yeah, so basically, I'm really proud of this painting. I think I think it's really visually interesting. I think I did a really good job on the lighting. Um, I think I've been really kind of doing a lot more interesting work this year in general. And I've been so proud of everything I've made this this year. And that's not, that hasn't always been true. Um, but this year in particular, I feel like every single piece that I've dedicated a lot of time to <laughs> has turned out pretty okay. And, you know, usually, like, if Instagram isn't rewarding me, which it hasn't since the end of, since like October 2021, um, Twitter will reward me. But this post when I posted it on Instagram and I posted it on Twitter, it, it's actually done better on Instagram than it did on Twitter. Um, and even on Instagram, it didn't do that well. Um, so, I don't know, it just feels really de demoralizing, I guess, because I spent 20 hours on this painting that I'm so proud of. This water thing is so annoying. <laughs> I spent 20 hours on this painting that I'm so proud of and and like, was it worth the time? I don't know, like I feel like it was. I feel like, I, I feel like the 20 hours was worth the amount of like pride I feel in this painting. But at the same time, it also kind of feels like it doesn't. And I know social media is like stupid and it, we shouldn't care that much about likes and comments and all those ultimately don't mean anything especially since this is going to be the patreon postcard for next month like it doesn't matter if people like it because my patrons are going to get it regardless <laughs> right i'm not relying on this piece to like make a bunch of money on my sh in my shop but it just like, I don't know, it feels bad. It feels bad, man. <laughs> I have no words of wisdom. Um, so, yeah, I had I had a good cry yesterday. I like cried a lot to Alan um, over this piece and also just all these other like thoughts that I have in my head about worrying about being self-employed and you know, I don't make a lot of money. I make about, my Patreon brings in about $2,000 a month and my rent is over $1,000 a month in New York City, which is cheap rent for New York City. Um, and you know, it helps because I live with another person who also pays rent and we split it. We split halvesies. Um, I don't, we don't, we don't currently do like a, like a split, income-based split. Uh, so I have to pay for half of the rent and I pay for half of the utilities. Um, Alan's been helping me a lot by paying for like a lot of the house necessities, like like he pays for the dish soap and stuff. Um, but it's like, I don't know, it's just really stressful because I don't technically make enough money to live in the city. <laughs> and uh, social media is supposed to help me 
engage a larger community outside of the people around me and I don't have that big of a community like personally because I'm an immigrant <laughs> and I don't have that many friends <laughs> I mean I feel like I have a lot of friends but they're like international at this point a lot of my friends I've met through the internet you know um, so it's just really stressful to think about like what if this is it like what if this is as far as I can go and I'm just going to be basically in New York City poverty <laughs> for the rest of my life. And like, I can't let that happen because like, I want to grow in my life. You know, I want to like have kids and have a house, not in New York City. <laughs> can't have a house in New York City, but uh, you know, things like that. And it's just really worrying. And I know I have plenty of time. Like I'm not planning on having kids soon. Um, we, I have a, I have a set date for when I want to have kids and the time, the time is ticking, baby. <laughs> it's very stressful. I don't know how much of this is going to make it into the vlog. I feel like this is very personal. But anyway, those are the things that I've been thinking about. I've been stressed is what I'm saying. And I'm trying really hard to stay positive, I'm trying really hard to like let myself have my feelings and also stay positive and like remember that tomorrow is a new day today is tomorrow for for me yesterday for yesterday's me and i do feel a lot better even though my eyes look crazy <laughs> um so yeah that's what i've been thinking about i need to set up for stream it's actually so easy to set up for stream oh i got a new pc <laughs> i forgot to update uh yeah i got a new pc She's beautiful. She was recommended to me by Marianne's husband. Marianne is the ghost egg on Instagram and on Twitter and on YouTube, even though she doesn't make YouTube videos anymore. So you should go bug her about that. Um, and on Twitch, she's also the ghost egg on Twitch. And she is a New York City friend. Speaking of friends, she's a New York City friend. And her husband apparently watches a lot of computer videos and, <laughs> and recommended this PC to me. And I managed to buy it after uh, raising a bunch of money with uh, Twitch, uh, using my subathon and just like other Twitch money. And also one of my patrons was very kind and sent me some money to help cover part of the cost. I'm technically still a couple hundred dollars in the hole. Uh, so it wasn't fully covered by Twitch, but it's fine. Cause you know, I have savings and whatever. And uh, I have no lag. <laughs> You have no idea. Okay, I have, I was using a $2,500 MacBook. And every time I video chatted my sister, it was like this awful shifting lag. I don't know how to explain how it looks and I'm not gonna post a video because it's gonna, it, like I don't know if Harold will let me, but it, it just, just take my word for it, it was so bad. And now I have no lag. Apparently my stream my stream's been better. Like I have no dropped frames. It's incredible. I'm so happy. Um, and also my desk is so much clearer. <laughs> I have so much more space on my desk. It's amazing. I can have like a cute desk setup now. I don't have one now, but maybe someday. Okay, my camera shut off because apparently I talk too much. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember what I was talking about. My PC? Anyway, PC's great, no stream lag, uh, I've been really enjoying it, I now have to learn how to use Windows. Uh, I had a gaming laptop, so I kind of was already a little bit used to Windows, but it is still a bit different. Uh, I think the Mac OS is still prettier, but the lack of lag just beats everything. Alright, I'm gonna stop talking, because clearly my camera doesn't want- my camera said internal temperature too high. <laughs> because I talked for too long. So maybe I am just too hot to handle. Uh, uh -huh. That's definitely true. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, let's get into the vlog. You know, I've been talking a lot. I need to set up for stream. I need to eat something because I'm really hungry. Uh, maybe I'll film a TikTok today. <laughs> what is social media? Oh no, it's fine. Um, all right, let's go. <laughs>
Hello friends, I thought I could chat with you all a little bit uh, while I work on this new sticker because I feel like usually when I'm talking to you guys I'm like talking at the camera and then you're just looking at me for 10 minutes because I tend to ramble uh, so I thought maybe this time we could work on this little Froggy Pride sticker that I am making um, and I could chat with you all so um, yesterday, so today is Thursday, it is Thursday the 23rd of June, and yesterday I ordered all of my sticker sheets and my uh, Patreon uh, postcards for July, so we basically have all of Patreon stuff out of the way, done, everything I need to do this month is finished, which is very exciting, and I'm doing a pop-up on Sunday, this Sunday. <clears throat> which is a little bit scary. Um, it's the same pop-up that I did last February, this past February, it's the same one, um, but hopefully the turnout will be better because, you know, it's, it's summer, people are out and about, and it's not like gonna be snowing, hopefully, unless we have some kind of freak <laughs> weather event. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, because I am me, I um, am making a bunch of last minute a bunch of last minute goodies. I really wanted to make some more Pride stuff. Um, so this is a Pride sticker that I'm working on. I also wanted to make um, a Pride bookmark that we did yesterday on stream and I think it turned out really really cute. I'm really happy with how the Pride bookmark turned out. Um, I wanted to I, I wanted to make a, a back for it. I haven't designed that yet um, but I think this froggy will be on the back. Um, I just need to you know finish the froggy. But yeah, uh, basically today is going to be a very intensive drawing day. I'm going to be trying my very best to get a bunch of new designs done. I need to find a good orange. Trying my best to get a bunch of new designs done um, so that I can uh, make them uh, a reality for the pop-up. And yeah, overall, um, I don't know if I talked about this, but I also had to, um, I also had to order some new business cards because we are finally running out of business cards. I ordered business cards last July, I think, and uh, I ordered a batch of 500. So um, I, I realized, <laughs> I realized that that means that I've, po I've probably mailed out around 500 orders, um, probably just under 500 orders. I also give business cards away um, to like friends and stuff, so probably maybe around 400 orders in the past year. Have I given away 100 business cards? No, probably around, you know, let's say 450 orders I've mailed out in the past year. And I, I have a tendency to feel very stressy about my little, uh, my small business because, you know, like, I see a lot of, I see the same studio vlogs that you all see of, like, um, these incredible illustrators who are doing incredibly well, and, you know, they, they, every shop update they do, they get, like, 100, 200, 500 orders, um, and when I do a shop update, I get, like, 20 orders, and that's a, that's a big deal for me, and very exciting, and I'm very thankful for all of those orders, but, you know, like, you know, sometimes, Comparison happens, uh, even though we shouldn't compare ourselves with each other, you know? We should just try to achieve the best we can, but, but you know, you can't always control <laughs> your, you can't always control your brain. And some, so yeah, so sometimes I, I can feel really down on myself about my little business, and I feel like I'm not growing, I feel like, sometimes I feel like this is as good as it's gonna get, I'm not going to be able to do much better than this, um, and that's really scary because, like I've mentioned before, it's like, currently I live a very, a rather low income life for, for being a New York City resident. Um, but yeah, I feel like having to order new business cards kind of helped me put a little bit uh, more perspective in, because that means that I've, I've mailed out, I've mailed out 400 orders in the past year, 450 orders-ish for the past year. I'm sure I have the actual stats somewhere, I just don't want to move them up. Um, and that's really cool. That means that like, like, that means a lot of people have 
little pieces of my of myself of my art somewhere right like that's super cool um so i guess this is just a little message to celebrate your little wins um every time you have to reorder something like for your packaging it's like a big deal you know it's really exciting i'm trying to make these stripes a better size i think that works better um and like you know we're all doing the best we can and we should applaud ourselves for that and try our best not to compare ourselves too much with others um, even though I know it's really tempting and sometimes our little anxiety gremlin brains can't help it and and then we feel bad about ourselves for a little bit but eventually you know we'll get back up <laughs> and everything will be fine I don't know where I'm going with this little spiel but that's kind of what I've been thinking about a lot um, just trying to be more grateful instead of always taking so much time to um, worry. Um, I, I definitely have a, an anxiety brain. Um, I'm, I'm both a perfectionist and I am very anxious and combined it's kind of a mess up there in my head very often. Um, so any, any little moments that I can take to try and force myself to be a little bit more grateful for what I've built all by myself, you know, like Cece's Art Cafe, I, I made this. I made this thing all by myself with social media, slowly building every day, and I haven't grown that big that quick. You know, I've been doing this for many years. The train's passing. I've been doing this for many years. I've been doing this. Well, I started the Cece's Art Cafe uh, Instagram account in 2017, about a year after I graduated, I think. Um, and now it's 2022, so I've, I've been doing this for a long time, and I feel like, you know, some people grow really quickly, and I have not, and that can be kind of discouraging sometimes, because, like, I feel like my work is good, for the most part. I mean, I look back at my old work, and I definitely feel like my work now is much better than the work I did before. Um, but that's good, right? Because we should be improving every day, every year. Um, but you know, like I feel like I feel like my work is good. <laughs> uh, is that is that really like narcissistic? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I feel like I feel like sometimes I can feel very like discouraged. I can feel like I've been I've been working so hard, and I work I work so many hours. <laughs> I work so many hours, and. For what? Like sometimes it feels like it's for nothing. Um, you know, sometimes you just have to you have to step out of your your little anxiety brain for a moment and really look at how far you've come, right? Because when I first started my shop, I didn't make a bunch of orders. Um, like people weren't buying my things, and that's fine. That's normal. And now, now people buy my stuff and people have my art on their walls, and that's wild. That's so cool. So yeah, just wanted to say, you know, thank you. If you've, if you've been supporting me, whether you're new or old here, if you've been supporting my work, watching my videos, not skipping through ads, um, just thank you, thank you a lot. I think I'm, I'm always very introspective uh, during the month of June because it's my birthday month. Um, and every, every year on Patreon, on my birthday month, I write a snippets post where I write about, um, 12 memories, uh, one per month for the past year of my life. Um, and because, because of this blog post that I've made like kind of a tradition for myself, I don't know if, if my patrons like it, I don't know if they care. <laughs> patrons, if you're watching this, let me know. <laughs> if you like the snippets blog post um, but for me it, it really does help me be more thoughtful about reflecting on my life and and kind of making myself feel a little bit better about where I've been and where I'm going and stuff like that you know I don't know if this makes any sense I'm just kind of rambling while while I draw um, but but yeah I hope 
hope you're enjoying this video so far. I don't know what we're doing in this video, but hopefully, hopefully it's going all right. We are trying our best to finish up some stuff for the pop-up. And then next week, we're going to be working on a bunch of paintings. I haven't broken up, broken out my watercolors since like the beginning of this year. It's been so long since I've painted anything traditionally, and I kind of miss it. So I'm excited to, to bring that out. Hello friends and happy Saturday. Uh, today is the day before the pop-up market and I've been kind of testing out my setup here. Um, I'm not going to have that grid because I checked my photo from um, the last pop-up and I can't fit the four across so I have to do three across which is why everything looks kind of cramped so just imagine that's not there. Um, but I think I figured out pretty much everything I'm bringing. I'm going to bring all of my Patreon postcards, um, prints, postcard prints that uh, I have extras of. I have extras of all of them. I don't have a ton of the Angie Cat one, this one, so I won't bring as many of those, but I'll bring like maybe 10 of each. And then I have some of my big prints. I picked out these. I don't know if they're gonna sell. Last time I don't think I sold a single large print, but uh, it also was a very slow turnout. There's a police car somewhere. Um, Last time there was a very slow turnout because it was snowing that day, so who knows? I figured I'm heating up food. I figured that uh, I would pick some that felt like summery and springy and like kind of seasonal. Uh, yeah, and then okay, I have this little shelf thing that I made with my grid wire situation, and I thought I would put my notebooks on here. I'm gonna sell these for ten at the pop up. Um, along with the recipe cards uh, just because it'll be a little bit easier price-wise for me to just you know it'll it's, it'll just be easier this way so I'm selling them for 10 and then I have my handmade earrings here that I'm really excited about I made a bunch more we have this little this one isn't this one cute this one is based off of that by tool white rabbit candy and I really like these tulips too had a lot of fun making these and then I also made for the first time some little crochet earrings little monstera leaves so we have like a variegated version of green and pink and then we also have some different options I only have the one variegated monstera leaf uh, we'll see if they sell if they sell we'll make more in the future if not you know it's fine um, and then I have a couple extra that I couldn't fit but that's okay because these are repeats so I figure it's fine um, and then I have my little cake plate thing that I bought from Target a couple months ago. 
um, and I'm going to use it to have all of my pins and I'm deciding if I want to bring washi tape because I can also fit washi tape or I can just, you know, like put the little crate here and then have a little sign thing here. And then I spent five hours on Thursday making all of these bookmarks. These are, um, I've never made bookmarks before, but I really like how these turned out. They're all laminated, so they're really sturdy. Um, and we have these two little bookshelf designs. I made these for my Patreon um, as this month's digital goodie. And I thought I would print some and bring them. I have like 15 of each, I think give or take and then I have this little pride bookmark so you can see it's a rainbow and on the back I have a little pride froggy with my information and I think it's really cute and then I'm also gonna bring extras of my patreon sticker sheets I'm gonna sell these for eight each along with the prints I mean along with the pins the pins and the sticker sheets are gonna be eight dollars each and then I have my regular little stickers single stickers um, so this is like a little holographic a hey, look at that little holographic Pride Froggy, I have a little trans lion. Mm. I'm really proud of these. Um, yeah, so I'm still deciding what stickers I want to bring. I don't really want to spend a bunch of time cutting stickers today. So I'm just going to bring stock of what I already have. And then I spent some time earlier making these. These are little Pride note pages. Um, so I just have to glue these and make a little backs for them. And then I think I'll be all set. All I have to do after that is print out a couple more of each print because I only have I only printed one for them for my test. Um, so I'm gonna print maybe three more or four more. Maybe I'll bring five each. I'm not sure. Um, um, the one thing I did bring last time and I'm probably not gonna bring this time is greeting cards. Um, I don't have any new greeting card designs in my shop. I don't think. Do I? Um, but I don't, I'm not huge on making greeting cards. Greeting cards probably sell all right, but they don't sell that well for me. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, apart from this, apart from figuring this all out today, I really want to make cookies. Um, cause Alan's not here this weekend, so I can make my shortbread chocolate chip orange cookies that, uh, set off his allergic reaction. Cause he doesn't, something about the orange zest, he doesn't handle very well. So I can make cookies today, so I really want to make cookies. That's the little update. Hopefully the pop-up will turn out all right. I'm going to film a little bit when we're there, but Alan's not here this weekend, so I have to do it all by myself, and I'm a little bit scared. Do you think it looks cute? I think it looks pretty cute. I wish these grids were like, like they didn't have such big holes, but like it's fine. I feel like I did a pretty good job in covering most of the holes, and I'm going to have, oh, I still have to make little signs. So like this one. I have to uh, I have to update this obviously and I think I'm going to type them out this time. Okay, I'm done. I'm done rambling. Goodbye. <laughs>25 it's 7 25 p.m. on Sunday I've just gotten home from the pop-up market it went okay <laughs> it went okay um, the there wasn't the turnout was pretty low again but I did make back both the cost of the table and some so I'm not gonna complain I'm pretty happy about it I calculated out my like dollar per hour um, based on how much I made and how many hours I was there and it's like not bad it's pretty good um, so I'm not gonna complain I made like basically a month's worth a month's worth of groceries and then some maybe no I think I made about a month's worth of gro month's worth of groceries so yeah, I'm not gonna complain. Um, however, I'm not sure if I want to do this same pop-up again because I feel like every, I've been there twice and it's always kind of slow. And in February, it made sense because it was snowing, but today was like pretty nice out. It was actually quite hot. It was quite hot and it is, uh, it is Pride March day. It's Pride week in New York. So it, that also makes sense that for it to be a little bit lower turnout but still i feel like it was kind of too low to make it worth it i'm doing another craft fair in 
July and it's going to be in Astoria. It's the Queen's Craft Brigade um, event and hopefully that one will do better. We'll see. Um, that one, the table is cheaper though. It's about half the price. So I don't, I'm not like as pressured to make a bunch of money <laughs> as I am with this one. So yeah, ho overall it went okay. We made some money. I'm very tired. I have a really bad headache. I've had a migraine all day, uh, which has been not great. So I think I'm going to turn on the AC. I'm going to find some dinner. I'm going to shower. No, I'm going to shower first. No, I'm going to turn on the AC first and then I'm going to shower and then I'm going to eat some food and then I'm probably going to curl up on the couch and like watch a movie. I've been rewatching all of the like phase one through phase three Marvel movies because they're on Disney Plus and I have nothing else to watch. So I've been rewatching them. So I'll probably do that and like knit and eat dinner and it'll be good. I'm gonna have like a nice quiet Sunday night after doing all this socializing. There's a train. I'm so sorry. Also, I look like a mess. I look like a sweaty mess. I had to put my hair up today. I don't like how my face looks with my hair up because I feel like my body looks too big in comparison to my head. Does anybody else have this problem? <laughs> I don't like the way my hair looks when it's up. I don't really, I don't like the way my face looks when it's up. I feel like when, with my hair down, it like balances out the head size and the body size. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. I sound crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now.